The cop was like, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? Oh, we're just going to the park. My intuition went off. I was like, oof, like that sounds so sus. Like us going to the park, it was like 2 a.m. Hi, this is Ambar Lucid, and this is the story of when I confronted a police officer high on mushrooms. My friends and I, we were all hanging out at my house, and we wanted to do shrooms, so we decided to have a sleepover, and that's why we were at my house. But we had to go pick them up. We drove to a hotel, and the energy at this hotel was a little bit sus, because you could tell that there were other deals going on, and the energy was just very loud. The person leaves the car to go get the shrooms from somebody else, and they come back reeking, like, marijuana. As we're about to go back into the highway to go on our way home, we see that there is a cop behind us. Fuck. Shit. Holy shit. If we were to get pulled over, we had LSD and we had shrooms. I was in my head panicking, being like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to leave Jersey. Like, I'm going to be stuck here. I'm going to go on probation. Like, I was assuming the worst. And the person that was helping us get shrooms gets out of the car and she goes into the hotel as if she was staying there. And the cop just drove away and I guess didn't find us suspicious. When we were at my house, I decided to make a shroom smoothie because I really do not like the taste of shrooms sometimes. I definitely underestimated how much I was putting into the shrooms. I just had an eighth of shrooms. And then my friends were interacting with each other and they were being really loud. And all of a sudden I started to feel really negative my aura turned black and gray for a second. As I felt more and more negative, I felt more and more nauseous, and then I realized I was getting sick. So I ran to my bathroom, and I started projectile vomiting in my toilet. I felt all the negativity that I was feeling just come out of me. It felt like I was experiencing a rebirth, releasing all that did not serve me in that moment and making space for new energy, and I was looking at the tiles of my floor. I was seeing an alien on the floor basically, but it felt like a feminine presence and it felt like a protective feminine presence. And I could tell that this presence wanted to communicate with me. And I'm very in tune with my intuition and the non-physical realm. I instantly know when something from the non-physical world is communicating with me, especially when it's one of my guides because I just feel kind of like a light of love and i was looking at it and i was like oh there's an alien on the floor but this alien loves me is this my spirit guide holy fuck like were you here to witness me throwing up in the toilet thank you for chilling with me for a little bit then i got out of the bathroom and just lied down as i had my eyes closed I kind of started to see like a rainbow wheel. Started to feel like the star from Mario Kart. Like my entire existence was just like dun, 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 dun. Then I went downstairs and I was like, guys, do you want to go for a walk? And I randomly decided to do a sobriety test on myself because I was looking at my feet and I was just, like trying to walk in a straight line. And I was like, hee hee, imagine like a cop just pulls up. And I was like, why would a cop pull up? And then I see lights in front of me and it was actually a cop. And I was like, I just manifested that for myself. Nice. And the cop pulls up next to one of my friends and that friend was on LSD. And I literally see my friend starting to have a panic attack. Like he's just like, <laughs> And the cop was like, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? Oh, we're just going to the park. My intuition went off. I was like, oof, like that sounds so sus. Like us going to the park, it was like 2 a.m. So I decided, I was like, um, I live right there. We're just going for a walk. He kept asking us the same questions. Like, what are you guys doing? Does it matter? Like I live right there. And I was just like arguing back and forth with him. But I was definitely being a little feisty with him. And I, I was getting annoyed because he just kept asking like, what are you guys doing? And I kept telling him, we live right there. We're not doing anything. We're just walking. So when he finally decided that he was wasting his time felt really good for him to just drive away and that's the story of when i drank too much shroom smoothie saw my spirit guide and experienced a rebirth tales from the